talk uh, about um, one of the things that's concerned me, well, again, coming back to my opening remarks, was uh, older rural voters and why they tend to vote uh, for Republicans. In what my perception was, was against their self interest. Can I take, now this is the Sinatra look and it works for you. <laughs> So I said, I don't understand. They're voting against, you know, Medicaid. They're voting against Medicare or cuts, etc. Why is that? They're voting against their self-interest. Then I read an interesting book. I don't know if any of you have seen it. Uh, Strangers in Their Own Land. Very interesting book by a professor, Arlie Hochschild, who's a professor at Berkeley in sociology. And she said, I don't get it. These people keep voting against their self-interest. So she went to live in Louisiana for two years. Um, just to see, I'm not in New Orleans, uh, but in rural Louisiana, just to see how people work. And it really wasn't about, I mean, they sort of understood these, but, but there was more of an emotional component. People are getting in line ahead of us. These immigrants or these people of color are cheating the program, and, he, and we worked all our lives, and we're screwed. So there's this, and we're being displaced. We heard those terms, uh, obviously, in uh, Charlottesville about displacing certain people. Um, anyway, so the question is, do they vote against their self interest? True or false? Yes. Yes. It depends on how you define their self interest. I mean, they define it on an emotional level, and some of the people she interviewed in that book actually said they'd rather take um, less uh, in benefits because they pissed at these other people getting ahead of them in their perception. 